Damn. Hello, what's up? It's 3.45 in the afternoon and I have not had a meal today. We're in the grocery store. We've been reuniting. One cup is eight fluid ounces. So we need eight times four is 64. Hello? Eight times four is 64. Hello? Eight times four is 64. Hello? Eight times four is 64. They literally say eight times four is 64. I'm stupid. It's 32. So two of those. They're so little. I love little things. This is not an ad for Pillsbury. <laughs> yeah, I should be called Red Pillsbury. That's the dream. That's the dream. I'm so annoying. I wanna, I like, when I like really like something, I'd be like, I'd sponsor pasta. this. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'd be like, I, I'd sponsor this. Like, I'd actually <laughs> get a sponsor. I don't do anything. I have like a thousand followers it. on Twitter. Like, it's not even <laughs> It's serious. not that serious. We need 5,000 even sponsors. Are you going to edit some like, cool music? Yeah. She literally looks Big. so good. <laughs> We're talking about this like it's a person. <laughs> She's gorgeous. <laughs> she mad thick. Do you see that glow? She is thriving. <laughs> today and I bought um, the Kroger brand cookies because why would I buy the expensive ones? I bought Toberki deli slices and I really want to try them so I think I'm gonna make a sandwich. You're probably wondering Matilda why don't you just get regular turkey? Um, it's because I can't. It's like not a thing to have halal turkey, so I don't have halal like deli meat or whatever, but this looks fine. How do I cook it? Should I just stick it in the microwave for a little? I'm not expecting it to taste like spectacular, but if it tastes good, I'm eating it. Like, I don't know what to tell you. Why is this so hard to open? This is why my cheese always goes bad because I'll like touch something else and then I'll touch my cheese in the bag. That's how your food goes bad, people. This is what it looks like. Pretty good. I'm a fan. This vlog has mainly been uh, me making food. I found a recipe a while back and it was on Megan Ranks' channel and she posted this no churn ice cream recipe. And um, today I'm gonna make one of those. I don't have all the correct ingredients, but I have some I think. I'm gonna make the Funfetti circus animal cookie whatever. For the ice cream mix I need one cup of this Funfetti cake mix. So, so I'm gonna take the one cup and put it in a little bowl and put it aside. I have a large bowl in the fridge that's being chilled like my life. I'm gonna put that aside. Funfetti cake mix. Very exciting. Whisk. I don't know when I turn into a cooking channel, but whatever. Funfetti cake mix. Spray the pan. My oven beeped. Everything is ready to go. I can't tilt to show you, but maybe you can see. I have 12 cupcakes going in, and then they're gonna bake for, what does the box say? They're gonna bake for like 20 minutes. It's been 30 minutes. Combine sweetened condensed milk and heavy whipping cream 
and then adding your dry cake mix, vanilla, and then you beat until stiff peaks form. Two cups of heavy whipping cream. I know when she made this, she had like cute containers and stuff, but that's a lot of work and I don't own cute containers, maybe in the future. Then this is 14 ounces or one can of sweetened condensed milk. Two to three teaspoons of clear vanilla extract and I'm too lazy to wash a teaspoon so I'm just gonna put it in the cap. So let's see what, two to three capfuls? Sounds about right. Ready? If you're kind of scared that everything's gonna go everywhere, I picked a bad day to wear a black t-shirt, obviously. Um, just kind of slowly turn up the uh, speed of your mixer. That's something someone else taught me. It smells really good. Pour in this entire bottle of sprinkles because I bought them and I don't think I'm ever going to use them again. That tastes really good. Seriously, I picked such a bad day to wear this shirt. All the signs are telling me to stop wearing this shirt, but I will not. Cupcakes aren't really cooled yet, and then I kind of messed up and I didn't buy frosting at the store, but I found leftover cookie icing, so I'm just gonna mix that in, and it seems to be working, so we're just gonna mix this in and call it a day. So basically what you wanna do is kind of make the cake ball like mix, and we're kind of gonna make mini cake balls, except it doesn't really matter if they're not ball shape they just kind of have to be like little cake bits. And we're gonna stick it in the freezer or the fridge for a little bit, and then We'll mix it in with the ice cream. I used 10 to make this little dough mix. So good. I know I said you don't have to make them circular, but I'm a little OCD, and I also feel like this is the easiest way to get it to form. Let it cool for several hours. I don't have several hours to let this thing cool. This is such riveting content, really. Take the little cake balls. If you think they're too big for you, just kind of break them apart. Sprinkle them in your mix, and then you're gonna wanna fold it into your mix. I have this fun container that's actually from Singapore, I think, or Malaysia. Um, and I'm just gonna pour the batter in. Yeah. Okay, I managed to make it all fit into this one container. It's fine. Fine. Eat the food. Is it sweet? Is it good? I think it's good. It's funfetti. There's cake in it. Yeah, well, I can take the cake. This is my ice cream cake. <laughs> okay, so it's the next day. I put this in the freezer yesterday at around 7-ish p.m. And it's 2.15 p.m. It's definitely ice cream. It's definitely ice cream consistency. I would say it's a lot creamier, but so good. And the cake was a good idea, I think. Anyways, I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at talk to Matilda and follow me about my life, kind of. And uh, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.